Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to remove anchor link hashes from the end of your URL. If you have anchor links on your page, your URLs can get messy. We're gonna remove that hash at the end every time you do an anchor scroll. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we're going to see a page that uses anchor links but does not add the anchor link hash to the end of the URL. By default, when we go and anchor link to different sections, we're going to see this hash that's added to the end of the URL. And this happens right up here inside the browser. The problem with this is if someone's clicking through your site and they want to go and share this with a coworker or a friend, they can go and grab this whole link. And then when the friend clicks on the link, they're going to be sent to your services section, not to the top of the page. So with some JavaScript, we can go and remove that hash so the link is always clean for the end user. So this is the default behavior, changing the hash at the end of the URL. And now these JavaScript treated links are going to remove that hash, but still keep this anchor scrolling functionality on the page. So you can see sometimes when I click through, you'll see a quick flash of the hash at the end of the URL. That's fine. The idea here is we don't want the end user to be able to copy and paste the link with a hash at the end. So this is gonna keep your links tidy and clean and still keep your anchor scrolling nice on the page. Let's see how it works. In Designer, we have a very straightforward anchor scrolling setup on the page. Each of our anchor sections is going to get an ID that is unique. So services has services, portfolio has portfolio, contact has contact. And our menu buttons on top are going to page section and the page we want to scroll to. This is straightforward. We're not doing anything special or custom. What we need to make sure we have is a class applied to these menu buttons. We don't need unique classes applied to them. We just need a single class that we can target with JavaScript and custom code. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. When the DOM is ready, we're going to get a reference to our Hack15 menu button class. This is the class that's applied to each of the buttons scrolling down the page. And the variable is called menuBTN. On click of menuBTN, we're going to set a short timeout before we run our function. This is the reason why we sometimes see that quick flash of the hash at the end of the URL. Why are we doing this? Before we actually manipulate the URL and remove that hash from the URL, we need to make sure the anchor scrolling functionality is actually happening. So this is a really short five millisecond timeout to make sure that we actually anchor scroll and then we take action on removing that hash. So we set a timeout of five seconds and inside the timeout, we are running our function remove hash. The remove hash function is down here and it's using HTML5 history API to manipulate that URL and remove the hash symbol as the user is anchor scrolling through the page. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request.
That's effing sweet.